Religion Early America has a very large Catholic component. Uh, these are objects mostly drawn from the history of Catholics in Maryland. Maryland as a colony was founded as a safe haven for Catholics in the mostly Protestant colonies. And we have objects related to those very earliest Catholics arriving from England in the 1630s. One of the objects we borrowed from Georgetown University is a cross that, according to legend, was actually made by the first English Catholics who came aboard the Ark and the Dove in 1634. When they needed a cross to use in their public worship, they took iron ballast beam from the ship and had a blacksmith pound them together into a new iron cross that they used. This piece is such an important part of the American Catholic story. When Pope Francis visited in 2015, he used it for his papal mass here in Washington, D.C. We tried to tell the full story of early Catholic experience in America, and we don't shy away from this early bigotry against Catholics. And one way we include this is including um, what's known as a saddle chalice that was owned by Bishop John Carroll, the first Catholic bishop in America. A uh, saddle chalice was a chalice used for the Eucharist, and it was designed in such a way that it could be taken apart and screwed back together in a different way so it would look like a bell when you strapped it onto the side of your saddle. Uh, in this way, you could disguise the fact that you were going off to perform a Catholic Mass. And so we tell stories like that, but also stories of early Catholic triumphs, such as the building of the Baltimore Basilica. One of my favorite objects in the show is actually a lottery ticket that was used to raise money to build the Basilica in Baltimore. It's wonderful to think that early in the 19th century they were still doing things like bake sales and having lotteries to build houses of worship. So it shows this very early activism of the first Catholic community in America.